What's good y'all, it's Turk, and here I am, back with another video. We're on day 14, and today is gonna be a sit down. It's kind of a story time, but not before it's Turk time. I've been at it, I've been moving with a purpose Show respect to execution, if I got it, I deserve it Let them know, every day I go hard cause I want it all This was all hard work, luck was not involved You guys already know, I play football I'm a dad, I'm silly um, I like to hang out with my friends And at times I like to get ratchet But, what you don't know that I never mentioned If you don't know me personally is I'm also a football coach. Not just any football coach, but I coach all women in a flag football league for breast cancer awareness. The league I coach in is called Pink Sunday. Um, it's an organization in Cambridge, Massachusetts. You have women of all ages that come to play, as long as they're over 18. We have some 18 year olds fresh out of high school or still in high school. And then we have some 50 year olds who still got it in them. We have people that's never played football before. I have to coach that. Just imagine like me who's played football all my life. I'm telling somebody run a slant. They don't know what a slant is. So we got to break it down from like the most simplest things to football players. You got to explain it to these women so they can get better every week. And even if we don't win, it's all for the fun and we're here for the cause regardless, which is breast cancer. I've had aunts, I'd have friends that uh, lost their battle to breast cancer and I still have some that's still fighting and some who beat it. So for the ones that we did lose, let's have a moment of silence. Thank you. My team name is Twin Peaks. There's another team called Brestianas, another team called Treasure Chess, another team called Hakuna Matatas. If you notice, all these names have to do with breast. And it's not inappropriate. It's, again, it's for the awareness, and we're spreading awareness here because we are playing for breast cancer awareness. So. Um, if you could understand that, this video would be a little easy for you to digest. So I started coaching because I played football all my life and I won two championships in one year. I feel like I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, which was a championship. My skills are good. I know I'm fast. I know I'm good at playing my position. But can I teach my position if I had to? Can I teach women who's never played football before football from scratch and that's a challenge that I wanted to take on so here I am I'm coaching so far it's been a beautiful experience I've been coaching for three years now this will be my fourth year if we get to play because things are limited because of COVID but honestly I haven't had too much success coaching but I haven't had complaints we're still having fun, and when I say I haven't had success, we haven't, I haven't had too many winning seasons, but I feel that's gonna change really soon. Um, I'm developing a core of women that wants to stick together and stick this out, um, and I believe we're one of those teams that could go from worst to first. I honestly do. There's been a learning curve. I remember, uh, I, was, I was always an introvert when I played football. And for the first two years and a half, I was an introvert coach, and I noticed that didn't work. So I had to take a different approach to get football through to these women. Otherwise, we was gonna continue being bad. And it wasn't because they're not skilled, it's because their coach was like incapable of communicating. And of course, players, the coaches, men to women, whatever type of relationship is not always eye to eye. There's some arguments, there's some, um, uh, petty comments made and and that's that's fine I, I really do love all the women the same it, it, it really is a hell of an experience so 
It's just like, you know what? We have our moment. I know what this is like because I've been a player. I am a player. So um, I understand frustrations at times and we just let it slide. It's, 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 it's whatever. I feel like what sets me aside as a coach is I get out there and I run with them. I bring my cleats to every practice. I don't just tell them what to do, but I show them what to do. So literally lead by example is more than, you know, being the drill sergeant and just yelling, kind of like how I was taught. I actually put on my cleats, lace them up, and I show them exactly what it is that I want it to look like and I want them to do. As far as plays, routes, attacking gaps, everything above. It's a hell of an experience uh, dealing with many women and many attitudes and um, even from other teams when you're playing them, you know, the trash talking starts, but it's always in fun and sport and competition. So I, I think it's all fair. I love to challenge myself. As a player, I won my championship, and as a coach, I would love to win a championship. Um, I'm not gonna say it's my top priority. I want the women to have fun first, but nobody has too much fun losing. We definitely have an agenda. We definitely want to win, um, and, and I think we are. So early this year, 2020, it was still cold out. Me and the girls got up and we started practicing, practicing early. We was running and conditioning. Um, we didn't go over plays, but you know, we was conditioning, we was getting into football shape. Because everybody knows you could be in shape, but football shape is different. So we had to get them in football shape. It was like a, it was like a boot camp. And they were ready. These girls was ready. Me personally, I love football. I love coaching. I love playing. I love being around it. I love seeing the kids play. It is such a good sport. And I want to express my love through my coach. One of our young talents, Ainsley, she just joined us this year. Just got a four year scholarship to Curry College. I share that here. with your mother, your aunt, two sisters, a daughter. Now you have three sisters, a daughter, a niece, surrounded by women. So these kind of messages is important to me and it's just as important to them. What I learned about coaching women is you gotta lead by example. That's mentally, verbally, and physically. Um, they gotta know, they want to know you know what you're talking about. I had a player literally take me out to um, a restaurant and she was picking my brain about my defensive scheme. If my mind wasn't right, she was gonna leave the team. But luckily, I knew what I was talking about and she felt that I knew what I was talking about and um, she stuck around and she had a few of the core girls we have today stick around with her. So that's something that I did learn. Um, and that's the mental. You gotta know what you're talking about. You gotta have a scheme, you gotta have a plan. And um, you just can't wing everything. You just can't come into practice and wing it. You gotta have a game plan for every practice, every game. As a football player or football lover, you have to know that. Verbally, I know I had to speak up for the first half of this last season. Um, I was very quiet. Um, I wasn't too assertive and um, I wasn't like really enforcing things. I'd be like, do 10 jumping jacks. And they'd be like, can we do three? And I'm like, fine, 
you can do three. But now I'm like, no, 10 jumping jacks, we're all doing it, including myself. I'll do 20. I know you guys can do 10 because we're all equal out here. Like whatever I can do, I know you can do better. So I'm not gonna let you cheat yourself. And that also plays into physically. Um, I have to show you guys that I'm physically gonna do what I'm telling you guys to do. I would never ask you to do something that I wouldn't do. So to prove that, I'll lace up my cleats every practice, I'll put on my gloves every practice, and I'll do everything from linemen to receivers to running back to quarterback. And on defense, from the linemen to linebackers to DBs, I'll do it all. And um, that's why I think that we're gonna be a successful team, and honestly, that's why I love coaching. Now, even though we are teammates on the field, we're also teammates off the field. Um, we go to arcades sometimes. Um, a few of us have kids, myself, a few of the women, they have kids. We link up, we go to like the arcades, we play like laser tag, we do the bumper cars, we'll go bowling, we'll play the games in our arcade. We have a good time. Um, and even if it's a not a night out with the kids, we go to the club, we go to a lounge, and it really develops team chemistry. So team bonding is team chemistry. And if you start to love the person you're next to or shoulder by shoulder, just like when I play football, you're not gonna wanna let them down. So you're gonna bring your best out for your quarterback. As if you're a lineman and you're a quarterback, the quarterback's your baby. You don't want somebody to slap around your baby. Not that anybody's being slapped around because of this flag football that we're talking about. But, you know, it, it's an extreme example. You don't want anybody touching your quarterback. So it's just like, you know what? I love my quarterback. It's like a trust fall. If they're gonna fall backwards, you gotta catch them. So if you're a lineman, you're protecting your quarterback. This is a trust fall. Protect your quarterback. I love football and it's, it's apparent that they're starting to love football and it's all through this league, Pink Sunday. I'm not gonna say it's through me, even though I'm, I, I have a small part to do with it. They are the ones who show up to practice every minute in the work and I'm just there coaching, admiring and, and watching this manifest right before my eyes. It's football, this is football. If you want more information about Pink Sunday, the league, if you're in the Massachusetts, Cambridge, Boston, Somerville, if you're anywhere near, um, I'll leave the link in the description so you can have, have more information or just feel free to contact me on any of my social media or in the comments. It's another video. We're on day 15. I appreciate you guys. I'm certain. So, the thing is, you just want to confuse the quarterback. So the quarterback is going to come out, they're going to be looking at the center's ass at this point, and they're going to be like, ready, and we're lined up like this. You can't tell what's about to happen. So, I'm going to give you a snap the ball, not when he says hype, but when the ball moves, that's when everybody gains in fair spot. All right, let's see, let's see. Um, Powers. 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 Now we move? Okay, here. Go. Perfect, perfect. Dad, what's wrong? My life's a TV show. Here's another episode. Sticking to the scripts where I'm always skeptical.